In previous screencasts, I've shown how we can use tools within PowerPoint to draw a sports court, for example, a netball court, as I've shown here. In this screencast, I'm going to show how we can create uh, characters to represent the players within the team. And in this case, with netball, I've got the letters for the different positions inside those circles. So, I'm going to go onto a blank slide, same as I've done previously, and I've got to go for the layout as being blank, so I've got nothing to get in the way when I'm drawing and moving things around. If I want to use circular shapes, I need to go to the insert ribbon and then shapes and then the oval tool. Now if I hold my finger on the shift key as I draw the circle it will keep it in proportion so it won't make it into an oval, it will actually make it into a circle. So I'm going to draw one circle roughly the right size that I might want. What I'm then going to do is add um, some text. So I'm going to add in uh, GA for goal attack. Now you'll notice that when I've added the text it's automatically made it too big for the circle. So we need to change some settings to get this to work properly. I'm going to select the circle first and then I'm going to go to the home ribbon and where it says align text at the moment you can see I've got the option of top, middle and bottom. I'm going to keep it at middle but I'm going to go to more options now in here, in this box here, you've got internal margins so it's actually got a margin around the text. Now we don't need a margin so I'm going to drop these numbers to zero. So all four of those numbers are going to become zero. And At the moment it's wrapping the text within the shape. I could take that off and then I could shrink it so that if, it, if the text is bigger than the shape it would reduce the text size until it does fit. Uh, I'll just keep it to do not auto fit and then close. Um, now in this case it's actually shrunk the text down so it fits quite nicely but I could always have used my little arrows here to increase or decrease the text size uh, I could make it bold, uh, I could do all sorts of things um, what I'm going to do is once I've created one shape I'm then going to copy this and I'm going to then paste it six times so two, three, four, five, six and that gives me a total, sorry, seven times that gives me seven shapes for the seven positions that I want I'm going to drag this circle over to the right hand side I'm then going to click with my mouse and I'm going to describe a box around all of the shapes so it selects all of them and then format and then distribute horizontally so I'm just arranging them across the page and then align top so that they're evenly aligned and then all I would need to do is come in and change the letters which I'll pause the recording for while I do that. So I've added the letters for my uh, positions. In this case, the netball, I've got the positions of the players. If it was something like football, you could always put the numbers uh, 1 to 11 uh, to indicate the different players uh, or, or whatever you want to use uh, for demarcating uh, the different people. Once I've done that, I can then think about the colors. So if I drag my mouse around, uh, I can then go to the format options and I can do the shape fill and I could choose different colors uh, either from this palette here or I can use it from the uh, usual uh, hexagonal palette. Uh, the outline I can change if I want to and if I go to the home tab I can change the font color. So you can change things, uh, usual sort of stuff. Once you're happy with what you've got you can then select the whole lot you can do copy and paste and that will create a duplicate set and then all you need to do is change the color of that set so you can tell the difference between the two teams. So here I've got a green team and a yellow team. Now there's one last thing that you could do. You could stop at this point, um, but if I am clicking and dragging this around, there's a chance that I'll accidentally highlight the text when I'm trying to drag things around. And also, if I copied this into a different program, it might resize the text slightly and the text might look messy. So what you could do is, once you've got it right, is you have to do this circle by circle, is I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy I'm then going to right click and under paste options I can paste it as a picture. This little icon here in Word in PowerPoint 2010 is the option for a picture. So if I click on that it will paste this as an image. So I've replaced that with the image. Now the difference is if I resize this the text will stay in the shape whereas with this one if I resize it the text will uh, not change according to the shape of the size. If I was doing this in Office 2007, I would have to copy it and now go to the Paste button here, you choose Space Special, and then you choose uh, GIF as the.